Something is stirring. A tiny Alcyone hatchling, just a few inches high and weighing less than two ounces. Their mothers left the eggs here about two months ago. Calling to each other synchronizes hatching. There is safety in numbers. from hundreds of nests gather on the cliff top to prepare for their first flight. But their wings are still unformed. The bones of the long finger that supports their wing membrane must first straighten and lock together. And that will take some hours. Their bones are extremely light, up to 90% air, and that makes the effort needed to take off much easier. Even so, test flights are essential. There will only be one chance to get it right when the time comes to launch. The cliff edge creates updrafts and they can help. So it pays to gather there facing into the prevailing winds and towards the mainland. Until, at last, one youngster sets them all on their way. Barbarodactylus. Path the hatchlings are too good to miss. One way to take evasive action is to simply fold their wings and drop. But losing height. landing in the colony. It's no place for the hatchling on its own. A lucky survivor from the first wave of hatchlings. Direction. Sanctuary. Of the hatchlings that left the stack, few get as far as this. But for them, this forest offers all the shelter and food that a young pterosaur needs. For the next five years, this will be their home.